Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to five champs versus five golds with wall hacks. The way that we're going to be doing this to quickly explain the rules to you guys is that the champions are going to be eternally on defense and they're going to immediately after the prep phase run outside the building and try to survive. So when they run outside, they're going to be detected through the walls. The gold players on attack are going to be able to see that. And that is how the wall hacks are formed. Now we are going to do a 15 second grace period on the start of every round. So after the drone slash prep phase, neither team is able to shoot at or damage the other team for 15 seconds into the round, just to give the champ players a little bit of time to set up some defenses outside and get to the positions. Cause the attackers are going to spawn outside, but we need the champs outside. We don't really care about where the attackers are. But other than that, there's not really going to be any sort of rules. All right, so it looks like the attackers are pretty spread out. we got a couple guys over here by the floating docks and a couple over by construction. Setting up outside is going to be the champs right now. Dino all the way on top of this roof right now. And the champs picked this map for a reason. They're going to have roof control. Sure, the gold players do have the wall hacks on them, but they have the roof. So all they have to do is sit up here and watch the repels. And that's going to be the first kill from, I'm going to call him Kai. I'm going to butcher that name onto Dame. Nah with the kill onto Ernesto. I know with the kill on the Wasted and Nah with another kill onto Zonky. We just missed all the action there really quickly, but that's already going to be a 4v2 for the gold players. All up to Sunvale and Dino. Dino going to take a lot of HP. He's still all the way up here right now. He's getting pinned, pushed from all the different directions. Sunvale going to try to get heals. If Dino is able to fall down, he could potentially get some heals. That's going to be Nah. From behind, taking him out. All up to Senva now, who's actually going to get the first kill or second kill of the game for the champ players here in a 1v3 now. Kai is pretty lit, so he's got a good chance of winning the gunfight against him, but it's not going to happen. Not looking at the position of the glass, and Kai's going to get taken down. That's the first round to the goal players. Seeing a little bit of a switch up in the lineup here. Zonky's actually going to go clash this round, which I think is a really good idea. As he's going to be able to basically be a standing mirror window for his teammates. So I'm interested to see how the clash is going to work out for the champ squad. But definitely just, I don't know. I don't even know what really happened there. It kind of just seemed like people lost their gunfights, which you can't really blame them because the golds do have wall hacks here. But this is just another ranked game for the champ players. Let's be honest with how bad the cheaters are. This is just your average ranked game. <laughs> All right, so with how the champs are setting up, if I had to guess, what they plan to do is they are actually going to come all the way out to construction by where Kai's drone is right here. And my guess is they're going to set up where the Glass had spawned, or I believe it's the Zofia spawned. They're probably down the stairs to the right, and they're going to set up on that structure that's out there. You see Dino on cams. He's going to be checking where the uh, defenders or attackers are going to be spawning at. Definitely all going to be running out there now. Zonky with the shield out. Looks like they're all going to try to head over to that structure like I was mentioning before. That one right there that Ernesto is looking at. Now Glaz is going to be close here onto Senvel. Senvel is going to take a lot of damage, but he has Thunderbird. So he's going to be able to place those gadgets down and get some more HP. But he might run into Dino, who's just around the corner right now. Kai trying to pop some shots of a dino, but none are going to hit yet. That's going to be the first kill for Dame onto Kai. Nice shots by him. Dame actually set up up here, and he's going to be getting naded from Chopper right now. The nade could connect. That could be bad. It's not going to hit. Dame's going to be able to walk away from that. Stars just seeing the feet of, I'm not sure who that was, of, I believe, Dame, but not quite able to get any shots off yet. A little bit of a standstill here so far. All the gold players know where the champs are, but they're not really sure of how to push it just yet. A lot of whiff shots from stars. He could have had two big kills there if he had just aimed a little bit better. This clash being so influential for the champs right now. Grenade going to come out, but that's going to miss. It wouldn't have mattered anyways as he is clashed. Grenade actually going to land behind Zonky doing a little bit of damage. That's Dino with the kill on the chopper though. So there goes your, uh, wow, your sludge and your Iana. Dino with another kill on the wasted. 2v5. The champs are actually pulling through in this one. Dame going to heal, or Dino going to heal Dame. And they do have the dock as well as the Thunderbird. So they have so many heals there, which is so important. Yeah, just to also clarify, some of you guys may be asking, well, why don't the gold players just go ahead and plant? The golds are not allowed to plant. The whole matchup is basically going to be taking place outside. Think of this kind of as a Call of Duty match where everyone is just outside. The only difference is that the golds are going to be able to see where the champs are and the champs have no idea where the golds are. And as I say that, not with the kill on the Dane, but it doesn't matter as Ernesto... 
gets a kill onto stars and zaki with another kill himself also i'm gonna go ahead for the rest of this video i'm gonna try to call ernesto mako his name is mako he's on an alt account so it's not showing here of course but i'm gonna try to make an effort to call him mako for the rest of the video but if you're confused about who i'm talking about i'm talking about ernesto ernesto is mako he's just on an alt account all right so it looks like the champs might be trying to do the same strat again we'll see what they decide here now an easy counter to this strat would be the gold players just going ahead and spawning at construction once they spawn construction there's gonna be that 15 second grace period neither team can attack each other and the champs aren't really going to be able to take that very effectively so looks like they're kind of predicting that and they're going to be trying to rotate their push over towards the west side of the map all throughout this window so it looks like they're actually going to vault out through this window possibly take like the underneath part of the map over here and try to hold that instead no clash this time but dino is actually going for the echo which is a little bit strange but we'll see how that works out for them one player spawned over here and that's going to be the finca of na he's gonna have to face five of these champ players <clears throat> excuse me my voice is <laughs> leaving me here but he's up to face five of these champ players here the first one he's going to run into most likely going to be sunville here a grenade potentially could come out from the finger the finger going to drop he could have so many kills here he only gets one somehow the only person he takes out is sunville dame able to refrag that's your finger gone there goes two nades and the god six the champs have a pretty good setup down here and that alibi actually being a big problem we saw that nod put a lot of shots into the alibi clone but champs they know exactly where everyone's at the f2 is coming in dame with that team going to zonki critical mistake dame on one hp Z or dino also on one hp the air jabs coming out from stars right now just doing so much damage to the champ players knocking over their covers and that's going to be a nice kill onto mako from stars now it's a 5v or 4v2 now the last two champs are one hp but dame with the kill onto stars and wasted gonna refrag and gonna get the final kill onto dino golds win round three two to one now all right round number four is underway here and it looks like the champs are going to try to do the same thing that they did before remember there is that 15 second grace period where neither team can attack each other and we're going to see i believe that is ali chomper already the first kill onto dino nice shots by him he does have the wall hacks here so he could win this a lot of damage being put on a sunbell he's going to get down but dame with the refrag able to just flank up behind him and i don't know how I don't know how uh, Chopper didn't know that Dame was there considering he has wall hacks, but nevertheless, that is Chopper getting taken out. And it is now a 4v4. Dino going to be taken out, but they still have Sunville on that glass, so a lot of HP can be returned to him. So we actually see Zonky peeking for information and actually pinging the attackers right now. He's going to be going for a quick peek here. He might be able to get this actually. Narrowly missing the shots onto, I believe that's Twitch right now. Yeah no it's not stars it's stars he's got the han solo pistol too there's no way i don't know why the golds aren't bringing nades to be honest they've got gnaw with nades but they're just not using them at all donkey gonna be going for a quick peek right now not gonna hit any shots though kind of a stalemate here they need not to use his grenades he has two nades he could use to easily kill these uh, defenders a zombie could be taken out so quickly right now with some nades but zonky with the kill onto Na. so there goes the grenades i was talking about Dame taking a little bit of damage from this glass up top, but not enough to kill him just yet. Star is finally getting a kill onto Dame. So there goes the Azami that was giving them so much trouble. 3v3 now. Senvale still has all of these Thunderbirds up, and they still have Azami traps up. So they have plenty of HP and plenty of cover now. One minute left. The Golds have to make a move. Senvale going to take a little bit of damage from that glass now. Going to put down some Thunderbirds though, so he'll be just fine. Mako taking a lot of damage, trying to peek the glass on the roof right now. Hi, doing his best to do as much damage as he can, but 45 seconds left. Star seems to be the only one trying to push up right now. I don't think the defenders know it. Senville is going to get taken down by Stars. Mako with the kill onto Wasted, so there goes your Twitch player. Glass still on the roof right now. Mako trying to watch the back of Zonky right now. He's got to be careful. Stars is pushing up as we speak. He's going to win the gunfight. Star should win this every single time. He's got wall hacks, but even with walls, he still loses. Mako going to take him out all up to glass now on the roof. Zonky with the clash is probably going to be impossible for Kai to win this now. They're both going to be peeking. This is this is his opportunity to win the round now. He's got to hit these shots. Three seconds left. The reload's coming out, but surely the champs are going to win this. And that's Zonky actually able to kill him there. 
Champ player is going to do the same strat they've been doing. No, of, none of the golds are actually spawning over by construction, which is strange because I would think that they would just spawn over construction and completely stop the push from the champ players, but they just refuse to do that. Dino might get caught in the open here, though. Yeah, he's going to turn around. That was a risky, risky run for him. Yeah, and he's going to take a little bit of damage now. Like I said, a little bit of a risky push by him. That's going to be... Who is that, actually? Who's doing all the damage? Nah, doing a bunch of damage on the dino, but he's going to be able to heal up with the dock. I think the dock Thunderbird strat is really, really good. Dock Thunderbird and a zombie and Clash are like the, the best operators for this by far. Oh, Star's going to get taken out by dino. The Han Solo pistol not working in his favor. He's going to be able to heal right back up to full HP too. We actually see grenades getting thrown out here by Wasted, so that's good. We finally see the grenades being used. Sonky going to take a little bit of damage, but he should be fine, especially with those Thunderbirds being placed down. That's also going to be Dino taking a little bit of HP. That's the nades gone now on the sledge, though. Dino in a gunfight with Na, but it's not going to happen. Na's going to clutch that out. Zonky with a kill onto Wasted. 3v4 now. Champs still have the lead. We actually see Nas slowly crouch walking up right now, but Senvale looks to be ready for this. No, he's not. He looked away. Senvale looked away at the last second. He's going to get taken out, but Dane with the refrag onto Na. There goes the Zofia Chomper with the kill onto uh, Zonki, though. So there goes your Clash player now. Wow. As I was about to say, it's a 2v2. Chomper with another Kali kill. 1v2 now. Both the gold players still do have to push Dame, so he's in a good spot to win this still. Chomper's trying to close the gap right now. Taking, <laughs> wow, that's Dame taking a lot of damage from the Capital with the LMG on the roof right now. The Thunderbirds are out of reach, so Dame's going to have to win this gunfight if he wants to get those heals. Tally going prone on the ground right now, and he's going to win that gunfight. Dame getting taken out, and that's going to be 3-2. to two. So Dino actually opted to get off of the dock this time in favor of the Rook. My guess is he's doing this for the nades. And also for the 2.0, as Doc only has the 1.5 on his MP5, but Rook's going to have the 2x. So he's going to be able to take those long-range gunfights a little bit easier. A little bit of cheese coming out from Kai, who's on the Blackbeard right now. As if the wall hacks were not enough for him, he's got to run the Blackbeard. A little bit, little bit of annoying for the champ players, but we'll see how they take care of that. Looks like they're going to go for the same... Power strat on construction again. Still, none of the gold players spawning over there. I feel like that's such an easy counter to this. They just have the whole team spawn over here, and it's just going to be a quick quick round, but Wasted going to leave the game. We're just going to play it out because round has already started. Uh, we already see the golds doing much of the same that they've been doing the past few rounds, and it has worked for them a little bit, but they definitely need to be a little bit more aggressive. Quick piece coming out from Nob, but none of them are going to hit. Dino doing so much damage onto him with that 2x on Rook. Nah, still in that gunfight with Dino right now. Dino just absolutely destroying his HP. But as I say, that Senville is going to take a lot of HP down as well. The air jabs coming out from stars. The air jabs were really good on the round where the champs went downstairs. But so far, they haven't been that helpful otherwise. Nah, finally getting a kill onto Zonki. Finally able to get a kill with that Zof LMG. Impact's going to come out. That's what we need to be seeing. We need to see the golds use their utility here. Destroy the Azami traps. Use their nades. Looks like he actually missed the Azami though. Oh, Dino's going to get taken out by Na. The second kill on the round by him. Still a 3v4 now. Zenvale is very, very low on HP, and as is Dame. And it doesn't look like they have the any any sort of heals this round. They opted to go without the Thunderbird or the Dock, and they're really, really hurting from that now as they're both so low. Star is going to be trying to crouch walk up here. Does Cade know about it? He doesn't. A lot of whiff shots. You can't shoot that much with ARX. You have to be accurate. Dame's going to punish him for that. Senveil with the kill of his own on just one HP. The Blackbeard swinging in the corner right now. A little bit of damage from the impact grenades. About half of his HP getting taken out now. Wow. And the Deagle. High with three big kills onto the champ players at the end with the Blackbeard. And that's going to be GG's. The gold take of four to two. All right. The champs have decided to play Coastline for map two. Seems like they really wanted to play on the ruins. I don't know. It seems, seems a little bit chaotic to me. I'm not sure how they're going to pull that off. They're definitely going to need a zombie to block off some cover points. But hopefully the 
gold players haven't learned from their mistakes last game. They did win last game, but I feel like they could have won a lot easier if they had just used nades. All of the champ players have been putting themselves back into a corner, and if they're just to spam nade that, there's no Jaeger or anything uh, on that previous map from the champ. So could have been a lot of kills from them. Uh, Mick is actually going to bring the Wamai this time, though, so that could stop Wasted's nades if he actually chooses to use them. It looks like the champs are actually rotating over by main, so they might try to push main. I'm not sure where the attackers are mostly spawning. They might be spawning ruin side. Now, the big problem is all the spawns are pretty viable on this map, so we might see the golds kind of spread out. If they're all on different spawns, it's going to be a little bit chaotic, especially for when the champs are trying to like set up their defenses. They're going to have to win some gunfights first just to set up around the building. Yeah, we already see that there's going to be two different... Uh, attackers here <clears throat> on the main stairs and it's that 50 second grace period so no one can shoot each other for another five seconds right now so the champs are actually going to have a couple seconds to come down here and set up this isn't that bad of a spot to be honest many of you guys might not even know that this part of the map exists but it's really not that bad the only thing they have to worry about mainly is people peeking above the pool wall and we actually see dame this time with the uh, beeper gadget this time, which I think is really good. But as I say that, he's going to get taken out by Na. And Na also downs another player. That's going to be Dino getting taken out. He is docked, though, so he could crawl Na with the third kill onto Zonki. He's going to immediately do a bunch of damage onto Dino. Ooh, Dino with a nice refrag, though, finally taking him out. Na was being a big pain right there. So Stars is actually taking the roof right now, and Dino knows about that. He's going to take a lot of damage, and there's someone just going to hop down from the pool wall. As I was saying before, Waste is going to take him out. It's all up to Senville and Mako. Mako going to get a kill, but Senville's going to get taken out, and Chopper going to take out Mako. Pretty easy round from the gold players. It looks like the champs are actually going to try to push into the runes this time. We'll see where the attackers are spawning. All of them spawning main. So I think they're doing what I said they should do and try to all spawn near where the champs are trying to push into and then counter that but luckily for the champ players they're gonna be able to take ruins and set up the site here a zombie placing all of the traps down that's gonna give them a lot more cover up here which is definitely necessary no jaeger or my this time though so they could get naded from wasted here who's already gonna get, gonna get a kill onto mako chopper with another kill onto zonki he turns to look at Look at the Finca and just gets taken out immediately. Wasted trying to push up. It's a massacre right now. All the champs down in seconds. Flawless win from the Golds. Yeah, we saw that nade come out and just destroy all of the Azamis. And there goes all the cover for the champs. And they were just taken out so quickly because of that. So it looks like the champs are actually going to try to push in through Ruins this time. None of the Gold players spawned Ruins. So they're going to have... Free access to come and play over here. And it's actually, this is not that bad of a setup here. I'm going to see Sunville try to play some traps to give their give themselves a little bit of extra cover here. I think he's just trying to block off the whole walkway. I'm not really sure what he's trying to do just yet. Yeah, I definitely like these Azamis from Sunville, but we'll see how they work as Zana is pushing up close to them right now. They got to worry about the roof as well as Chopper's going to have some pretty nice angles onto that little opening there. So if they back up too far, might be a problem for them, but not already pushing up. And that's going to be Mako getting taken out. Wow, the vault over a lot of damage onto Dino, but he's going to get taken out by Zonki. Zonki there to save his teammate. Very nice timing by him. Grenade's going to come out from Wasted right now. Oh, all the way from the roof as well. Oh, Stars is crouching up right here. I don't know if any of the people on the champ team knows. They don't. Zaki's going to get taken out. They have to react to Stars right now. And Chopper as well, who's all the way pushed up. Dino's going to go down. Senville with the refrag onto Wasted. It's all up to Dame and Senville now. Dame with a nice kill on the Chopper. There goes your Kali. And they're actually going to try to go for the res right now. But it looks like Stars is going to push up through these zombies right now. And I don't know that they know it just yet. That's going to be a kill onto Dame. So it's all up to Senville now in the 1v2. Wow, Stars just lost. Wall hacks and everything, and he just didn't predict the push from Sunvale there. I'm not really sure how that happened. 1v1 now. I versus Sunvale. Trying to secure the finish onto Dino, but it's not working for him just yet. Why is Kai clearing so many angles if, as if he doesn't have wall hacks on him? <laughs> Kai finally going to clutch that out, but I'm not sure why. I've seen him multiple times now. The gold players are like looking around trying to clear angles, but they literally have wall hacks. <laughs> 
What is going on from the champ players? There is, they were trying to open this hatch for like a good 20 seconds right there. That was a little bit ridiculous, but finally they're able to open that. Looks like they're gonna try to push back in towards ruins and try to hold that uh, same position they were last time. It seems to be the best position that they can hold. None of the gold players are going to spawn near ruins, although Wasted is making his way over there right now. But all the champs have enough time now to set up, and the 15-second grace period is gone now. So they need to be quick to set up their defenses. We already see Wasted on top of ruins. He can see the hand of one of the one of the champs. He can literally see Echo missing a lot of his shots, though. Oh, my God. If that's not the most gold thing we've seen throughout this video yet. Dane taking a lot of damage, but not enough to kill him. And Dino's going to be able to dock him straight back up to full HP. Nade's coming out from Wasted now. This could be really bad. Yep. Mako going to get taken out by that grenade. Pre-fire is coming out from Wasted onto Dino, but nothing going to hit just yet. I actually see Na and Chomper pushing up close onto the two champ players here. Senvale doing his best to defend against them. Zonky going to push up with that clash, but that's going to be Nah taking out Dino. So there goes the Doc player. Dame going to take a lot of HP and finally getting taken out by Nah, but he's going to get refragged from Zonky now. Chopper with the kill of his own onto Sunvale. And the Candela's coming out. GG's. The Golds win 4 0. Alrighty, and with that, that is going to be a uh, quick 2 0 victory from the Gold players. Make sure you guys follow the champs with the links down below in the description. I'll have all their socials there. Make sure you guys subscribe if you enjoyed, like the video, and I'll see you in the next video.